With the grass and cans and dust gathering in these flats, one can easily tell that they've been abandoned for some time now. This is despite the 15 double-story flats in Lusaka State Lodge area being completed and ready for occupation. And the owner of the four-bedroom flats is still yet to be identified, as the only information the Drug Enforcement Commission, DEC, has is that they are believed to be owned by an Esther Nyawa Tembo. DEC has since pounced on the property, believed to have been constructed with proceeds of crime, and has instituted investigations. Uh, the verification that we've been doing has shown that the property number that is sitting on this particular property is actually a number that is, is somewhere outside of Lusaka. And um, the investigations have also revealed that uh, uh, at the time when we were moving in, people were trying to change uh, you know, those documents so that this property can get a particular number which is different from that uh, initial number that it had. And this property is sitting on land whose records are not clear. I'd like to appeal to this Esther Nawatembo to come through to the commission with any details that they may have, any papers that may show their ownership of this particular property so that we may be able to verify uh, ownership of this property. The commission is treating this property as a, proceed, a suspected uh, uh, proceed of crime. Uh, the president has been very clear on the issues of uh, us recovering, uh, you know, assets that have been stolen from the people of Zambia. And this particular property is one such asset that we are suspecting that it is uh, reasonably sus uh, suspected to be a proceed of crime. For now, the commission has warned that it will recover any property which is suspected to have been obtained from proceeds of crime. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.